In this video, we'll walk you through cleaning the Eplog Zing's optic system. Start by shutting off the laser and remove the power cord from the machine. Next, remove the left side panel by removing the three screws on the side of the machine. Then remove the screw on the back of the machine. Now remove the left side panel by pulling it toward you. The mirrors in the periscope housing are enclosed and will likely require cleaning less often than the other components of the optic system. The other components are exposed to dust, smoke, and other debris and should be cleaned regularly as a part of your routine maintenance. Let's start with the lens assembly. Unscrew the lens from underneath the carriage. Begin by applying lens cleaning fluid to a cotton swab. Gently clean both sides of the lens with the cleaning fluid cotton swab. Now, screw the lens back into place underneath the carriage. Next, from on top of the lens assembly, push the X-axis belt to one side and unscrew the mirror. Gently clean the mirror with the cleaning fluid cotton swab. Push the X-axis belt aside and screw the mirror back in, making it hand tight. For the mirror at the end of the X-axis assembly, use a Phillips head screwdriver to remove the four corner screws. Do not adjust the hex screws as these control the laser beam alignment. Remove the mirror from its housing, then gently clean the mirror with the cleaning fluid cotton swab. Now reinsert the mirror, positioning so two hex screws are near the bottom and one near the top. Then reinsert the four Phillips head screws loosely at first, tightening once everything is lined up. For the outside of the window at the top of the periscope housing, gently clean it with the cleaning fluid cotton swab. Next, let's clean the components inside the periscope housing. Remove the four corner Phillips head screws from the top mirror. Once again, do not adjust the hex screws. Remove the mirror and clean it with the cleaning fluid cotton swab. While the inside of the housing is accessible, Use the cleaning fluid cotton swab to clean the inside of the window at the top of the periscope. Then reinsert the mirror, positioning so two of the hex screws are near the bottom and one near the top. Reinsert the four Phillips head screws, loosely at first, tightening once everything is lined up. Finally, remove the four corner Phillips head screws from the bottom mirror. Do not adjust the hex screws. Remove the mirror and clean it with the cleaning fluid cotton swab. Reinsert the mirror, positioned so one hex screw is near the bottom and two near the top. Then reinsert the four Phillips head screws loosely at first, tightening once everything lines up. Now reinstall the left side panel by reattaching the three screws on the side of the machine. Tighten the screw on the back of the machine as well. Then plug in the machine and turn it on. 